Hi guys, welcome to this short session on types of collagen. Fairly high yield topic and one of the most high yield topics from general anatomy. So let's get started. So we'll talk mainly about the four types of collagen, type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. These are the most asked types of collagen. And after that, we'll discuss a little bit about the miscellaneous types, just a point or two about each of them. And lastly, we'll go to a mnemonic which can help us remember this for good. So firstly, type 1 collagen is mainly found in bones, tendons, ligaments, the dermis of the skin, cornea, blood vessels, scar tissue and also in dentin. Remember, type 1 is the most abundant type of collagen and it provides tensile strength to the connective tissue. So it offers the tissue some strength or resistance against tens tension. So it provides tensile strength to connective tissue and if this there is some defect in synthesis of type 1 collagen. It's associated with a condition called osteogenesis imperfecta. So osteogenesis imperfecta is associated with defects in type 1 collagen. Next, we'll go to the most important type of collagen from the exam point of view, which is the type 2 collagen. This is mainly seen in cartilage, both elastic and hyaline cartilage, in the vitreous humor, humor of the eye and the nucleus pulposus of the spine, okay, or the vertebra. They have characteristically very thin fibrils okay and they are usually associated with some chondrodysplasia so we said it's mostly found in the cartilage so they are associated with chondrodysplasia and the main role or function of this collagen is to offer resistance to pressure so we said type 1 which is the most common type offers resistance to tens tension or provides tensile strength and type 2 mainly offers some resistance to pressure so remember it's found in the cartilages so it should obviously offer resistance to pressure let's go to type 3 collagen which is also called reticulin, again fairly important. It's found in a lot of places, mainly in organs, but also in the skin, muscles, blood vessels, lung, liver, spleen, bone marrow, lymphatics, and even in granulation tissue. And an associated condition with defects of type 3 collagen is the Ehler-Danlos syndrome. So ED syndrome, particularly Ehler-Danlos type 4, is very much associated with defects in type 3 collagen. Uh, another point we read or we discussed earlier in our MCQ discussion regarding keloid. Keloid or keloid is a defective scar formation where there is increased type 3 collagen deposition. So remember keloid is also associated with type 3 collagen and increased type 3 collagen deposition. You can remember granulation tissue, there is excess granulation tissue in keloid. So granulation tissue also has type 3 collagen, type 3 collagen also called reticulin. Next we go to type 4. So type 4 collagen is found in the basement membrane of vessels, right? So type 4 collagen is mainly found in the basement membrane of vessels and it provides filtration and support tissue. So basement membrane filters, so filtration and support, but mainly you can remember filtration is important. And it's associated with a condition called Alport syndrome. So defective basement membrane is where you see Alport syndrome with a lot of manifestations. So yeah, even the renal basement membrane and the basement membrane of the vessels have type 4 collagen. Now we'll talk, a so these are the four most important types of collagen which you must know. Now we'll talk a little bit about the miscellaneous collagens. So type 5 collagen is seen in the placenta normally and also in a malignancy called rhabdomyosarcoma. So type 5 collagen, two places, placenta, rhabdomyosarcoma. Type 7 collagen, very important, it's found in the epithelium or the skin but at the dermoepidermal junction. So type 4 collagen gives stability at the dermoepidermal junction or binds the dermoepidermal junction, the basal layer and the epidermis. Okay, so that's type 7 at the dermoepidermal junction. Type 10 along with type 1 is seen at the bone. Remember primarily bone is type 1, but type 10 can also be seen and it helps in cartilage formation also. Type 11 collagen is seen in the brain and type 12 collagen is seen in the testis and ovary. If multiple types of collagen are involved, it, you should always suspect scurvy, okay? So scurvy is vitamin C deficiency and vitamin C is required for uh, formation of collagen due to hydroxylation reactions. So if there's vitamin C deficiency, all or many types of collagen can be affected. So here you can have a histopath examination showing collagen fibers. So you should not, uh, you should definitely be able to identify this. Now we'll talk about the mnemonic for the most important that is the major four collagens so remember one type one is seen in bone b-o-n-e so one bone one then type two was mainly seen in cartilage so two car two ledge you can remember it like that type three just remember three d okay so t-h-r-e-e d 
and ED, so type 3, associated with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. And type 4 is seen the floor. So, you know, the basement membrane is the usually the floor, right? So, type 4 is seen in the floor. So, it's a basement membrane. So, that was a mnemonic and that was the types of collagen. Very important. So, make sure you know these. Mostly, you should get one question from one of these. So, all the best. See you guys in the next discussion.